Hi everyone, sorry for the delay. We have encountered some technical yeah, issues. Yeah, we, we had dinner, so <laughs> yeah. take some time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. So um, thank you for joining the live chat. Today's session is about the Pretty Pache Essential for international students coming to Poly this year. My name is Marie I'm, and I'm from the International Affairs Office. Here we have three international student representatives to share their experience with you. I'll let them introduce themselves. Okay, so my name is Mike and I'm turning to year four and I'm from Taiwan. I'm majoring in Enterprise Engineering, which belongs to the Department of Industrial and System Engineering. Yeah. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Aidana and uh, I'm majoring in Accounting and Finance and I'm about to start my second year here. So hi, my name is Michelle and I'm from Korea and I'm majoring in Tourism Management and I'm going up to year three now. So today we'll spend about 25 to 30 minutes um, on the sharing itself and then we'll have about 15 to 20 minutes on the Q&A. We have received a lot of questions from you and thank you very much. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. We'll try to answer as many questions as possible. So first thing that we want to mention is the pre-arrival notes that you have received it from PolyU last month. Inside, there's a lot of detailed info on um, where to get the bus to PolyU, what do I need for a bank account, uh, when should I book my flight? So we won't go through those details because you already know it, but the student here today, they're here to share their own experience, some first-hand tips for you to, sm to start your journey to follow you smoothly. So the first thing I want to mention is the visa label. Uh, once you received it, please make sure to take it to a blank page of your passport and make sure that when you enter Hong Kong, the immigration department, they saw it and chop, make a chop on it. <laughs> uh, the second thing when you book your flights, uh, keep in mind of the mass check-in day. If you plan to arrive before the mass check-in day, you have to arrange your own accommodations. And for insurance, as you might know from the pre-arrival notes, uh, Paula, you do have insurance covering activity authorized by the university, but it doesn't cover your travel journey, you know, your journey from your home to so Paula U. <laughs> yes, so please arrange that before you depart. So as Mary said earlier, this is all in the pre-arrival notes, so uh, feel free to go back to it when you have any questions. So I'm only going to explain the most important things that you have to bring. So the first thing is, of course, your passport. And as Mary said earlier, please um, stick your visa label in an empty page in your passport. And also don't, uh, don't forget to bring your immigration letter because it is really important for your future. And another thing that you have to bring is your offer letter as you all have already received. Remember to bring an original and also a few other copies because you might need it for your registration in other, in other areas. And as for your cash, bring Hong Kong dollars and also your home currency because when you go back to your home during vacation, you might need it and it's easier to uh, use your currency. <laughs> and uh, remember to bring also some personal items, for example, your clothes or some um, blankets if you want and other picture of your friends yeah, pictures and pictures to put in your hall, yeah. in your room. Some toys, probably. Yeah, for example, <laughs> your toys if you want. And lastly, these are just good to have, for example, business suits, because I, if you're a business or tourism management student, you might need it for your presentations and also in other areas where you have interviews. And also a few household items that you feel like you have to bring. Yeah, I think like, um, like one opinion is that don't just don't bring too much. Yeah. <laughs> I suffer a lot when I need to move out after one year mm -hmm. in the hall. Because you know that it's not like you're living in the same room for four years, but it's like you're living in the same room for only one year. So you're going to suffer every year. So remember <laughs> this. Bring the essentials. Bring something that is more expensive. And if something that is too cheap, then just bring it. You know, uh, I mean, bought it, buy it in Hong Kong, and that'll be cool. Yeah. And um, of course, you, 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 will, you will like to know like how can you um, arrive in um, your school, the campus, or your hall from the airport. Of course, for the first time, it's, it's going to be hot. Um, uh, there, there might be like more five or ten different ways, but for me, in my mind, there are only two ways. First, um, if you are like the newcomer, newbies, maybe you like to take this way because it's the easiest, but it takes some time. Just um, take A21, the bus, and it's in the airport bus stop, and you just take it, hop on it, and the last stop is Hongheim Station, and that's the destination. And I think it's not very hard to walk to the campus because you can just see from the stop. So just add some um, 
people around and you know that Hong Kong people are quite friendly. <laughs> and the, the second way is that like um, you think you are kind of smart, you are the, the, the travel king or stuff and then you can try the MTR. Um, it's faster but you need to change for maybe two or three times. Um, I won't suggest that because I don't know how to do that if I don't have <laughs> my Google map and it's also expensive so um, I mean you choose it yourself. And for the first time, you probably have a lot of luggage. So maybe the bus will be the easiest way for yeah. you. And the pure rifle notes do have the very detailed instruction for you. So IO, International Affairs Office, is arranging an airport greeting on the 21st of August, which is the mass check-in day. We'll have staff and colleagues, well, we'll have staff and students on uh, both of the arrivals <laughs> hall in the Hong Kong International Airport from 6 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. So make sure you come and say hi and we'll provide the help needed for you, you know, where to get the SIM card, where to get the transportation card. Um, and if you plan to arrive full after 11 p.m., make sure you in inform them by email. So you'll still be able to get the key from the security team uh, and do the normal check-in procedure the next day. And always, always stay in touch with your family, let them know you have arrived at Hong Kong yeah. safely. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's an essential video, so of course we'll talk about some essential things like when you arrive in Hong Kong, you need to call. You need to use your phone for sure, I mean, young generation, right? <laughs> so SIM card, and you need transport, the octopus card, and you need some place to put your money, bank account, right? Um, to be honest, these are so complicated, and I cannot uh, <laughs> remember all the details. And But um, just no worry, like... Um, when you arrive, probably will organize um, an orientation week, and you will have you will be divided into several groups. In each group, you got your group parents, and they are super nice people, and they they are just act like your parents. Besides, I mean, expect that they won't give you money. Uh, otherwise, they will take care of you, uh, bring you to um, to apply for your SIM card or bank account and everything. So just no worries. Stick to them and. Remember to join the orientation week, it's so mm -hmm. essential. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as for your Hong Kong identity card, um, I recommend you to get it before school starts, so that's probably September 3rd, because you have to apply for your bank account and other um, SIM cards and also um, mobile plans. So all of these need HKID, so you probably should need it before school starts. Yeah, or otherwise you, you, you need, need to use your passport. You yeah, it's and really it's like you will always forget. <laughs> I mean, I suffer. I want to change something and yeah. oh, passport. So go home and again. We do have a uh, questions from from you about um, when is the best time to get the Hong Kong ID. So I know that they can apply like make an appointment online. So do you recommend them to do it before they leave their home country? Yes, do it before you leave your home country because later on there won't be any seats left. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Please. I mean, it's always good to escape from the crowd. Yeah, yeah, it's always good. So do it before. Uh, so orientation activities, uh, as Mike already mentioned, I also strongly recommend you. It's not mandatory. You can, uh, of course, skip yeah, them. Yeah, you but have choice. I strongly recommend yeah. you to, democracy, to, you know? yeah, <laughs> to go to the orientation uh, event because uh, there will be especially the city hunt and campus hunt because it will be your first chance and first like uh, experience. Uh, to experience the city, to see the Hong Kong, and you'll not be alone, so you'll be with your group, with your group parents, so they will take care of you, you will see how to take transport in Hong Kong, you will see the best location, so I, I strongly recommend you to uh, go to the orientation uh, events. It helps you to get you know, familiar with the campus, so you won't get lost in your first weekend <laughs> <laughs> classes. You no will still, yeah. yeah. And um, regarding the PNP, the peer mentoring program, uh, there are some events, uh, most of the events are not free of charge, so you have to pay, but the fee is very like symbolic, it's not big, like 20, 50 HKD, so it's not, uh, it just covers some of the costs, so I strongly recommend you to go to the PNP. Was it very it. busy at the events? Were it very, you know, hardcore? <laughs> <Stay quiet. laughs> How, what was your experience? Do you meet a lot of new friends? You definitely meet a lot of new friends, and I'm still friends with most of them. <laughs> and um, I think it really is a time where you really bond with other people from other nationalities, and also your group parents. I mean, they're really nice. So, but it's like just don't be scared. Like not all the events charge. Yeah. I mean, yeah. with all the free events, you, you you don't have time. You only got 24 hours, so no worries. I mean, I, I kind of like I rarely pay for events, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Student hall.
holes. We have so many questions <laughs> about oh. student holes, and we'll try to answer them, like all of them here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So about the room size. So as you see on the photograph, uh, two people share one room, and it's different for Homantin and Hoham halls. In Hoham halls, four people they share one bathroom, and in Homantin, nine people share one uh, two bathrooms. But I think it's like kind of fair allocation and. Uh, the bed size is well. Uh, on average, I think it's okay for most yeah, of the people, unless you're very <laughs> tall. You are very tall. I'm uh, very tall. <laughs> uh, I'm like 177, but uh, I it's like very like close fit, <laughs> close to my uh, to my height. And uh, in some rooms, actually, in some rooms in Hoham, you can have a bed extension, so it may be plus mm -hmm. 30 centimeters. You can add. So, um, yeah, but I think mostly it will suit you. And uh, I will tell you that in Homantin, the beds are wider. So if you move a lot <laughs> when you sleep, then yeah. Homantin is better option for you. It's a new one, um, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a new one. And the new beddings? One. Is there any beddings? Uh, uh, no beddings will be provided <laughs> for you, only uh, the mattress, and that's yeah. it. So you have to bring your own pillow, blankets, bed sheet, whatever. Mm. Uh, and uh, the the facilities, uh, okay, so Hunham Hall has a swimming pool. If you like swimming, yeah, better suggest you Hunham. Uh, but there are also a lot of different rooms, like study rooms, uh, piano room, prayers rooms. Um, uh, gym. Gym, yeah. Study in both of the study rooms, uh, dance rooms, band yeah, games, room. whatever. Game table games, tennis. Table yeah. tennis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so a lot of activities. Uh, and also the the fridges. Uh, so each uh, in Hunham Hall, the old one, each that like the on oh, the second picture, right? Two people down. share one. Yeah. yeah, the two people share one. So each room has one fridge, and they just renew, put, renew it yeah. like it's recently. Like huge, it's, it's like, really, yeah. yeah, it's really nice. But in Homantin, uh, there is one fridge for nine, nine. people, yes. but it's like bigger. Yeah. But yeah. it's bigger. It's yeah, cool. this depends. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no mini fridge in the room. So there are no, no mini fridge. About it's that. not mini. Uh, not mini anymore. Yeah. Like They're not in the room though. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, in the room, room for Hun Ham, yeah. but uh, in yeah. Homantin, not in the room. It's in the suite. You can still live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and about uh, the plugs. Uh, so uh, first. Personally, uh, each room, I think in, I live in Hoham, so I have two plugs that I can use for my personal use, and my roommate also have another two. They are near the desk, so usually I just plug in my phone or my laptop. Uh, and yes, you can use some extensions, but not very big, like maybe mm -hmm. only three plugs more or something like that. And um, the cost of... Um, the cost of the haul, well, you have to pay around 6,500 Hong Kong dollars per semester. Mm -hmm. uh, and also there are some uh, additional spending is on your aircon because you have to mm -hmm. it charges you. Mm -hmm. And also the laundry, the laundry, the dryer. So, yeah. but it's not very expensive, it's okay. Bearable. I think some of you were mentioning about, you know, when you first entered the room, you didn't know how to <laughs> turn, <laughs> yeah. turn on the aircon. Yeah. 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 So, so when you check in, they will give you a card. I think they will, student. yeah, they will give yeah. you a, per, uh, not oh, a before, tem yeah. temporary yeah. card temporary yeah. before you have your student ID. So they will give a temporary card and you, you have on the first floor and on the ground floor and on the second floor, you have the machine where you can, it's called add value machine. <laughs> and you can put some money into it, like 20 or 50 HKD is enough. Uh, and you put it there and then you go to your room and then you have to pay for, you, you'll see some mm -hmm. kind of machine, machine yeah. little, <laughs> and you have to pay for aircon there. And uh, regarding the laundry, then you have to pay near the washing machine. Yeah. We have one washing machine on each floor and also a, a big laundry room on the second floor of the Hong Kong Hall. In Homanti, we have only one washing machine on each floor. Yeah. I think. Anyway, two. Like, you just charge oh, two, your two, car. Yeah. Two, two washing <laughs> anyway, you just charge your car first and Everything in the hall just use a car. <laughs> I mean, it's very yeah. Easy. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sink water is not drinkable. It's not drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have a yeah. question but about that. You have uh, in the kitchen. You will have uh, filtered water mm -hmm. uh, in separate sink. Then you have you can drink that one. It's okay. Electrical appliances, please don't use them. Mm -hmm. Like Max mm -hmm. is like maybe hair dryer or something like that. But you're usually are not allowed to use like rice cooker or <laughs> kettle, electric kettle inside the room, but you can use them uh, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is on the I mean, on the floor, yeah. And uh, usually you can bring uh, a heater or a an fan, electric fan, yeah. but oh. it should be small, not yeah. not big yeah. ones. 
Is it essential to have a fan? Fan is awesome. Yes. Like, fan is awesome. if you don't want to spend your money on yeah. air <laughs> conditioning, <laughs> you know, then you can use it. It changes your life, you know. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> during winter, heater is must have. Okay. So, transition from school to university, it is huge because in high school, you only you go to school from 8 to perhaps 4 or 5, but in university, you get to choose your time, for example. There are morning classes which start from 8.30, but I don't recommend you to do it because oh my God. you can't, Never. you can't. Oh. <laughs> you, can't you can't go. You, can't go. you no. pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can choose maybe afternoon classes if you're okay with it. I mean, it's all up to you. Or there are pre-assigned and you have to go to pre-assigned courses. But other than that, you can choose. Mm -hmm. And as for change of academic environment, so the lectures are usually three hours long and it seems quite long, but you have break times in between, so it's okay. And there are seminars, which are probably around one hour. It's really short, and so it's really useful, so please go. No. <laughs> and as for assignment, it really depends on each person, because some people cram before the day the assignments are due, and some people do it beforehand. So it's all up to you. <laughs> uh -huh. And you can always go to your academic counselor if you have any other questions. And you can also get guides from your academic department and also from your student association. So stay close with them. And as for GUR subjects, so GUR is general university requirements. And every student is required to fulfill their 30 credits of it. And inside the GUR, you have your car subjects. And there are A, B, C, D. And you get to choose one car subjects per alphabet letters and there are also healthy lifestyles and other GUR subjects you have to fulfill but they are all in your um, website and also you can go to your student associations to ask so yeah, yeah I mean it sounds really difficult I mean yeah, it sounds complicated it sounds complicated you know but it's not because you're not yeah. on your own yeah you, you, you have friends and um, <laughs> classmates and, together, and, yeah. and trust Just me like them, yeah. each course is the first class is always like repeating like okay, so what's in our class? Uh, what's the assignment? What's, what are the essential days and everything? So no worries. And also the academic counselor, if you really know nothing after all these explanations, once, once, one time after another, you still got um, some helpers like call some angels called academic counselor. You just book your time and you can ask him or her every question about academic or even life. So. Everyone is uh, helping you, so no worries. Each semester you have like a job period, like two weeks, so you can mm -hmm. actually add a job or change your subject. So yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the classes are actually pre-assigned, like yeah, at least four a semester. Yeah, so Don't you only have it. like one or two classes, mm -hmm. I mean, to choose. Yeah. So. yeah. But remember to, um, this is just an advice, just finish your car subject in your first year because uh -huh. you won't have time for it in your second year. So you suffer. Yeah, so in your first year, it, you have a lot of time, so please finish it beforehand. Yeah, and actually like three credit classes are usually three hours, so it's to make it simple. Yeah. We do have a questions about the um, grading system. So can you briefly, <laughs> a little bit, explain? Like, well, what it's, is this grading it's, system probably? Uh, it's kind of... Uh, <laughs> About <laughs> curving, <laughs> it kind of depends. So some subjects have some curving, and some subject inside the subject, for example, the midterm maybe not curve, the final is mm -hmm. curved. So it really depends on, on the subject. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ask your, your your lecturer, and just <laughs> now <laughs> ask your lecturer. you haven't yeah, even <laughs> entered. Just enjoy <laughs> life, people. <laughs> <laughs> you get too tense yeah. because there are a lot of guidelines from the departments, and everything is you know on written. Mm -hmm. You can see you know how many credits you need or what kind of assignments is, you know, proportion, percentage, everything, and how many exams even. So don't be too worried. <laughs> and you have a lot of friends here to help you. Uh, oh, so uh, like um, before each semester or even like long before, I mean long time ago, you can, you can see the academic calendar. Like now you can probably see the schedule in 2020. So you can probably, I mean, you know everything. But um, um, people will um, be kind of nervous for their first time because when they buy the ticket, maybe they want to buy a round trip ticket, and then they think about uh, when to uh, fly back to their home country. But to me, it's like um, it's kind of hard to say because we got three weeks of um, exam week, and you never know which uh, week you finish your exam. So, and it kind of like the school will release the information like in the end of October or maybe October. early November anyway so you got 
at least a week, uh, at least a month to decide. So no worries, just uh, don't buy the ticket. Otherwise, if you just if you bought you buy the ticket right now, maybe you waste a week in Hong Kong. Waste a week in Hong Kong. Maybe if you miss a home really much, so just uh, take it slowly. Yeah. yeah. And usually we. We, we will go home during the Lunar New Year or Chinese yeah, New Year because so we got maybe 10 days or 11. If you are not from Kazakhstan, <laughs> <laughs> then it takes you <laughs> 6 hours. <laughs> but, Ages. Yeah. Yeah. But if you are from countries where Lunar year, New Year is celebrated, then it's good for you, yeah, mm -hmm. to have one week. Yeah. I mean, it's not, of course, not cheap, but if you miss home, then yeah, it's your if you, if you really, really want to buy your tickets beforehand, try to see if any airlines or travel agency provided student tickets. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, some of the major airlines do that. Uh, they have student tickets for international students who provide a visa or some documents, and then they can get like a, you know, you can change your dates uh, for free, or you have a larger uh, luggage allowance. Uh -huh. um, do some research on that. If not, take their advice. Try to you know be flexible on a date because you won't know your exam mm -hmm. dates until the semester starts. Yeah, I mean you can always get a ticket. Like it's not a popular. Mm -hmm. I mean even though it's December, you can still get a ticket. So no worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go to Hong Kong. Um, so what was your first impression? Is it very different from what you mentioned? When you arrive, uh, actually, when you people say Hong Kong, you always like imagine financial centers, skyscrapers, <laughs> a lot of people, but it's not actually that true of Hong Kong because uh, there are a lot of places that are very green, like a lot of rainforests, a lot of mountain you know, some areas. So we I actually never knew before I came to Hong Kong that yeah. people do hiking here. Mountains, I'm walk, like, what? Uh, are you hiking the skyscrapers? Yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. So but you, it's actually very green and uh, there's also a lot of like monasteries and stuff. So it's very uh, interesting uh, and very unusual. Um, maybe also like you have a lot of uh, if you want if you are wondering how you're gonna spend uh, your time here, then there's like amusement parks or you can do some hiking, you can do some sightseeing, uh, museum, like shopping, shopping museums. Shopping museums are actually yeah. near the campus. So shopping malls, yeah, of course, Hong Kong is very famous for its shopping opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> <Paradise. Yeah. laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, actually, also, just like all the other cities. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's more, it's probably. even more concentrated. Yeah. So it's kind of like easy to yeah. go to everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of like luxury brands. And also like uh, you can c go to uh, a lot of different concerts. Like mm -hmm. when I was, during my first year, like Imagine Dragons, <laughs> uh, Har Har uh, Harry Styles, like yeah. I don't know. You enjoy your a lot life. Of, you know, <laughs> no, I never. I, I don't. I don't go. I didn't go there. My friends went oh, there. That's why. Oh yeah, 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 not me, right? <laughs> Suffering. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. And talk about the food, maybe, and transportation. Oh, maybe before that, I mentioned about if you are a concert fan, are you crazy for that? I heard that. Um, it's a lot easier to go to Macau for a concert. Oh, Maybe. Yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Macau it's not me, but I heard. <laughs> Macau yeah. ticket, the tickets are not that expensive and it's and not that, no I mean, need for a visa or something. It's more easy to get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use the ferry. And for food? Food? Uh, well. <laughs> oh, they're good. Food is mostly <laughs> Asian. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, but there are also Western cuisine. Some Western cuisine. Oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a lot. Yeah. 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 Around campus? Oh. Around campus, uh, mostly Asian. But <laughs> if you go to Tim Sha Tsui, there are a yeah, lot of Western right, like right like to I mean, I mean, it's very convenient yeah. in Hong Kong, so no worry. Yeah. You can always have McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Oh yeah, <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the center is the same. Yeah. Transportation, and, yeah. maybe? Transportation, uh, uh, because uh, when you come here, you can get the student octopus card, oh, awesome. and it's I think <laughs> it's I think it's twice cheaper. Uh, only in NPR, yeah. yeah. So only only using the, uh, the Metro. subway, yeah, the yeah. NPR. Uh, but the buses are a bit expensive for students, I think. Because it kind of and got a discount for Metro, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. better to use an NPR it goes anywhere. Like, and you have like a lot of NPR stations near the campus, near the hall, yeah. so no worries about it. Uh, taxi, well, if you're very, very rich, <laughs> you don't Cantonese. know how to spend <laughs> oh, your money. Yeah. And if you speak Cantonese, then yeah. you're wrong. Yeah, and minibus, <laughs> the crazy one. 
I think mini mini bus bus is, sports uh, car. Yeah. They are sports car. Mini <laughs> bus is quite yeah. a frisky. You also have yeah. to speak a little Cantonese. Yeah, it's right. Oh yeah, it's 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 oh. It's, quite local. Local. it's an adventure if you want to. <laughs> yeah. If you are boring, just hop on one, and you know. <laughs> yeah. I think it's good to know that um, you if you live in student halls, you don't really need to take a bus. Oh, oh yeah. Or you can yeah. just walk to the campus. Yeah. So just walk. Yeah. From Hong Kong is like eight minutes, and Hamilton <laughs> is like fifteen. No, ten. For me, it's 10, 10 and like 10. If you fast walk, it's 10. Oh, okay, I'm chill, you know. <laughs> Talk a little about the weather and <coughs> humid, yeah. nice places. The weather is humid, uh, quite hot <laughs> during <laughs> summer. Uh, sometimes there are typhoons. When I came first here, it was like typhoon 8. So oh, yeah. uh, this, this umbrella, registration yeah. was postponed <laughs> because oh. of the wind. So yeah, be careful about that. Uh, but. Uh, usually it's good. I think it's okay, during yeah. during winter, like the minimum, like the co the coolest day is like plus ten maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not that cold. Never, it's not never that mind. Cold, but still bring some yeah, bring some cold. outwear. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are no heating system inside. No heating system. It's system. very yeah. different. Yeah. 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 yeah, very very different. Yeah, you yeah. will feel it. <laughs> ten 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 degrees Celsius is kind of like zero if you got heating in Europe. So mm. very different. So can we talk a little bit about the cost of living? Cost of living, so... And also some tips on how do you manage your finance <laughs> as an international student yeah. in Hong Kong. Uh, just buy the stocks and not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like for me, I think I spend around 4,000 Hong Kong per month. Mm. And uh, for the meals, I think, because meal is essential, right? So for meals, it's always cheap. The cheapest uh, food is always in the campus. We got um, several, three to five um, a canteen, catering, um, yeah, yeah. In, in campus they were great. I mean, great in price, not in the prop. Uh, <laughs> so on, so on. you need to <laughs> like choose nice. one, you know. And uh, but around the campus in Hong Kong, I would say it's at least forty to sixty. Yeah, forty yeah. to sixty. It's yeah. kind of reasonable. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, the good things about canteen. But mm -hmm. if it's outside of Hong Kong, let's say in central or and the, the business hundred. area, then it's no limit. <laughs> you yeah, know? No limit. Yeah. Usually <laughs> start from 50s to 60s, but it's the minimum. So yeah. watch out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And internet, mobile? Uh, I So there are two options. You yeah. can either buy a contract, yeah. they call it, or you just don't buy a contract so, and just put yeah. some money. So I use yeah. second option. Yeah, but usually people use. Usually, the first one. usually people <laughs> use. Because it's one. convenient. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's just pay. Usually yeah. I'm only on campus and in the hall, so I can Great enjoy the Wi-Fi. I don't have to yeah. connect to the 3G, 3G, yeah. So. yeah. so for the contract one, I think the, the cheapest is around 90s, but uh, the normal one is around okay. 120, yeah. and that's the price. But the bad thing is that you need to pay every month yeah. for two at least two yeah. years. So even because, in your vacation, yeah. Yeah, you have to so but if you don't <laughs> buy the contract, <laughs> if so you're not lazy, <laughs> yeah, you don't have yeah. to yeah. pay. There's two opinions yeah. here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> lazy, so yeah, me too. <laughs> really up to you, and I think it's very hard to you know estimate what the you know exact amount that you would spend because it really depends on your lifestyle and your preference. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have any general tips on how to you know save more money? I mean. Don't go out. Canteen. <laughs> canteen. Yeah, canteen, canteen. Yeah, canteen. Yeah. Right yeah. Campus yeah. have a lot of good deals for you, so probably yeah. spend some time on campus. Yeah, Starbucks yeah. is also cheap. So. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, actually, all Starbucks on the in, 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 yeah. in, in all universities they are discounted, so mm -hmm. usually vacation goes. Okay, so what do you, what to do if we mm -hmm. have homesick or any culture? So there are a lot experience. of clubs and also other activities on campus. I so mean clubs by student clubs. Student clubs. <laughs> I mean society. 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 Right? society. <laughs> oh, sorry. So yeah. um, they, they meet a lot and they do a lot of activities. For example, they meet up at Halloween and they also go volunteering. So if you have a chance, you can just join it. And uh, for me, I try to get as busy as I can to forget about you know, <laughs> my oh, yeah. homesickness. Sure. I mean, I still get homesick, but I still go often, go back to my house often. So. So yeah, so as for culture shock, then for culture shock, so when I first came to Hong Kong, when I first went to a restaurant, 
I was sitting in a big table, and I thought that was my own table because it's mine. <laughs> yeah, because I pay. Yeah, because I pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, for a lot of restaurants, they um, some random people may just sit at their table and eat together because they want to save seats. Yeah. So Hong just Kong. be careful yeah. of that. I mean, if you're very awkward with new, you know, with random yeah. people, don't feel offended. Yeah, don't feel offended. Yeah, yeah, I mean, people are closing Hong Kong like us, yeah. like very yeah. close. So <laughs> the space problem is Limited. very critical. Yeah, yeah. Hong Kong is understandable. Yeah. So, about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of crowded places. Mm -hmm. So but it's okay to get used to it. Yeah, and for like for cultural events. I mean literally there are oh hundreds of events in the campus or outside the campus. Every time you receive emails, yeah. like three events a day, wow, <laughs> you, know, you don't know how to choose. Yeah. And also for the cultural events they are uh, because we got um five to six student societies, like Taiwanese society and Korean or Kazakhstan and we also organize our cultural night mm -hmm. so it's kind of a fest yeah. uh, it's usually concentrated in the second semester so be ready and enjoy the best yeah cultural yeah. night I think they are the best events that yeah. they have we always compete at <laughs> like who's the best and you don't know that when yeah. you um, join, join us. us so be excited uh, so there are some uh, apps that we would like to recommend you to install them on your phone so my observatory is just to monitor the weather uh, and they always send you notifications about typhoon coming or something like that. Uh, open is a program to, to, look, to seek for some yeah. uh, places to eat. Uh, Google Map, well, it w works really good in Hong Kong. Yeah. I always use it, so I never I never know the way, but I know yeah. Google Maps. Uh, yeah, you just, you just, put, uh, just get yeah, Google Maps. It works Map, very well. It's in Hong okay, Kong. yeah. Google Translate, well, if you don't speak Cantonese, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, QR code classroom. reader, this is very essential <laughs> for class. So yeah. they use it everywhere on advertisement, in classroom, events. every, and then every and event, events, everywhere. Yeah. So I usually, because I have an Android phone, so I just use it's called the uh, optical reader. So it's already like yeah. installed. Not so advertising. You don't so. have to, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have yeah. to. I mean, you don't have to download Microsoft Outlook. Where uh, in Polio we use it for so inside, yeah, inside the university for communication and WhatsApp. Of course, in Hong Kong, mostly people use WhatsApp. So if you use WeChat or Kowtow, it's time to just <laughs> shift. Oh no, no, no! Actually, you got everything in Hong Kong. Like, yeah. I installed yeah, like yeah. three but more, uh, like this instant message. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> WhatsApp is the most like, yeah. common. Yeah, yeah. WhatsApp is yeah. common, yeah, because yeah. international. Board so I think now is a good moment for you to capture this <laughs> screen yeah. here, so yeah. you yeah. can go back yeah. yeah. to, to download. And I kind of, I think I, we forgot to mention about a bank account, like which bank is better. Or no, that's on Q and A. Oh. Yeah, we will go cool. with Q and A. So now I think it's time. Sorry for delay, but <laughs> now it's time. time for us to go that's for Q time. and A. <laughs> and we do have a lot of questions from you already. So let's. Let's go, here we go. <laughs> so um, the first question we have is, do I need to bring a laptop to Hong Kong? Does lectures require one as compulsory? What model should I get? Advice, please. Um, you can buy it here, or for me, I just took it from my homes because I don't want to spend money <laughs> on it. But you get student discount if you buy it on campus. Yes. Yeah, so, but everyone will need a laptop for sure. For their yeah, it's essential. Mm -hmm. But it's, essential. it's not, I, I never bring it to class, but some people bring it. Uh, it depends on you, but of course, outside of class, you always need to use it. Yeah, yeah. To, to write a paragraph. Yeah. yeah, you have some in library, but like, it's, you know, it's more convenient reports. to have your yeah. 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 And like Michelle mentioned, we do have an uh, annual notebook ownership program, so uh, so you will get discount on that, and um, you will receive an email about it if you're really interested in buying a laptop in Hong Kong. Yeah, they're really very good Cheap. deals. Yeah. 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 Second question we have, will we be given books for the courses, do we need them or do we not? <laughs> do we have to buy them? <laughs> um, you'll get PDF files. I mean, from your. I guess it's really different yeah. between yeah. things like yeah. for hospitality or business and engineering. Maybe you can share a little bit on on books. Mm -hmm. Books are essential in business, but uh, you can buy uh, in the campus bookstore. You get some discount prices, but they're still quite expensive. I usually buy with my classmates, and we share one. Uh, also, you can have some borrow some from the library, mm -hmm. but they're always like in like <laughs> shorter. Yeah. Uh, and also, you can uh, download PDF. Mm -hmm. You can ask your senior students, maybe yeah. or the prof, or from the po uh, the Polio Library website, mm -hmm. so you can find. Yeah. So get PDFs. some friends. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of seniors. Yeah. yeah. And always ask for seniors. Ask yeah. seniors. Yeah. They have the books. Yeah. Okay. 
So will there be any language courses arranged for international students? It's all in your GUR because inside your GUR there is someone called language yeah, language courses. So basically there are Chinese and also English courses. So it's if you want right? it's compulsory. So if you're non local you have to take Chinese courses. And you can also take other Cantonese courses if you want. It's for your elective, so no worries about that. Yeah, I mean if you're interested in languages there are so many like, yeah, like so German. many European languages. <laughs> yeah. Three two or four. Mm -hmm. And it, it there are two like one for credits and another is like non for credits. You figure it out later. Mm -hmm. But there are um, yeah. These kind of options. Yeah. So you're definitely going to learn Mandarin. It's like must. yeah, it's a must. Yes. And we have a questions about nightlife. How's the nightlife in Hong Kong? Uh, so you're <laughs> pretending that you don't know. Uh, <laughs> nightlife. Okay, I sleep at bit. night. <laughs> give a little brief like example. Because there are so many do. like international students and also international people in Hong Kong. There is. A place <laughs> where a lot of internationals go, like like LKF or <laughs> yeah, they yeah. party and yeah, they do so in the center. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if you go outside in, at night, uh, be sure to return before before two p.m. because then NCR is closed. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. You need to take taxi. before two a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and you ha uh, and then you have to take taxi or night bus, which is more expensive yeah. option. So mm -hmm. I try to finish everything before two a.m. Yeah, you can also like, I mean, it's always uh, more expensive to uh, party outside and you can just, uh, yeah, many people yeah. just <laughs> ask some friends and party in, in the park or or somewhere. Yeah. I mean, just have a good just, meal. Or, yeah. I can tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so about the bank, do you have any recommendations oh, yeah, between that's the question. two banks that I think a lot yeah. of you know already, Hang Seng yeah. and BEA? So I think you guys can give a little bit, you know, your experience, which one, you know, what the advantage yeah. of them. That's the advertising time. That's yeah. the time. <laughs> so I any I mean, I use Hang Seng because the, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University have their own account in Hang Seng. So if you want to pay your uh, tuition fee yeah, or... Also for the yeah. East Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Same. it's really easy to pay. So just, you can choose. I mean, there are no yeah. you know, disadvantages. I think it's, it's kind of... Similar yeah. because they have the both banks have their offices and ATM machines on mm -hmm. the campus. They mm -hmm. are very near to each other, mm -hmm. and uh, I use Hansen, but like half my friends use uh, Bank of East Asia, so yeah. I don't mm -hmm. see like very half half. It's half half. Really. It's half half. Yeah, Even but, for a uh, queuing time, is there a lot? Oh yeah, but it's oh. like when people <laughs> mention about Hansen, they always say that oh yeah, it's convenient, you know. But when everyone think that it's convenient and become handsome fan <laughs> and it's not convenient at all because everyone is queuing. So yeah, especially um, university like you know. our campus, the university yeah. Yeah, yeah. is kind of they have queues. Yeah, yeah but you go to even at the same time I feel like Hansen have a lot of um, branches in yeah. 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 So it really yeah. depends. And it's also for HSBC yeah. Yeah. also can uh, you can use their machine, right? Yeah you can use HSBC machines. This is a branch. Mm -hmm. So we have another question about the insurance arrangement. So can you share a little bit about how you arrange your insurance and you know when you as an international student overseas? So many of my friends actually don't have insurance because um, I don't know why, but they just don't. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, um, my parents recommended me to take um, to apply for a travel insurance because um, it's quite complicated to get other insurance. So for me, I recommend travel insurance. But Poly, you also offer other insurances. So yes. check your email. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, uh, polio um, insurance only cover the uh, things in the campus or polio events. So if you it's not, then you're in danger. So <laughs> of course you have to buy your own insurance. If just ask your parents, you know, and they'll protect you. So but they'll buy you some. For minor diseases like flu or something, you can always go to the clinic. Yeah. Oh, center. Yeah, yeah, campus. We got campus. Very cheap. Very right? cheap. Very like cheap. I yeah. pay 15 yeah. HKD and yeah. they give you consultation. Medicine. They give you the medicine you need. Everything you don't have to pay for medicine or something. You just pay 15 HKD and they give you everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like very. If it's mm -hmm. minor disease. Yeah, but never. But if you <laughs> don't have an insurance, don't get very major disease because the <laughs> yeah, Hong Kong hospital fun. is not. <laughs> Uh, like welcoming place. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people, like a lot of people. people. Yeah, yeah. That is pretty so pretty. insurance is essential. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, questions about working mm -hmm. part time on campus and also working after you study um, at Poly U. So um, for part time, do you guys work any part time on campus before as international students? 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, check yeah. your email all the time because yeah. they give you like opportunities. So it can work yeah. for up to 20 hours per week mm -hmm. and yes. also uh, during normal semester time and 59 summer days, yes. right? During summer semester. Yeah. So you, you can work on campus yeah. and there's a lot of opportunity and you know. Mm -hmm. And for after study, these are current students, <laughs> but we happen to have an alumni here right <laughs> next to me. And maybe he can share a little bit about his experience, uh, you know, working in Hong Kong after graduation. Well, can you do one thing? Okay. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> you see who is this? <laughs> oh, the yeah. star of yeah. Poly U. So yeah. if you come to Poly, you can get one as well. He can sign for you. <laughs> he can sign for you. Yeah. yeah. So my name is Igor Ivankin, and uh, I'm from Russia. I have just graduated from Poly U, and uh, I have started work maybe a couple of weeks ago, and uh, if you have <laughs> any questions, I can ask anything uh, mm -hmm. about about studying, about working here, about living here. So, um, yeah, about the jobs um, for as international person, it's uh, you can find a job here, especially if you can speak Chinese, like Cantonese or Mandarin. But uh, I can't speak any of them. But <laughs> That's normal, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. But I can still find a job, so there are many options for everyone. And um, yeah, I quite enjoy my job. There are many opportunities here for every industry. If you're uh, studying finance, engineering, or logistics like me, there are many opportunities. Um, again, if you speak Chinese or if you don't speak Chinese. As for the com recommendations, I think um, one of the most important one is that you have to know a lot of people. While you're studying, try to have a big network. It will really help you to find a job. If it, either it's an internship, or it's a part-time job, or it's a job after graduation. Yeah. So this is uh, one of my tips if yeah. you want to stay in Hong Kong okay. after you graduate. Yeah. And um, for other final year students, some of them they go for master degree. Some people can go for very good universities like in the United States mm -hmm. or even in Hong Kong. So uh, yeah, there are many options for everyone if you want to study or study further or if you want to work in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Some people even go back to their home countries and work there. So opportunities, after finishing for you, you can have opportunities everywhere. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Specialist of this yeah, person. I think we're good for now. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so just bye -bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. <laughs> so join events to extend yes. your network. And, it like, and bring the internship opportunity. Yeah. So then we have another question about um, what is it to be like a Muslim student in Paul U. So now <laughs> I found you. Another specialist. Yeah, the special guest, a Muslim yeah. student sharing his experience in Paul U. Hi. Hi. Can you introduce yourself? So I'm um, Junaid Khan. I'm from Pakistan, studying civil engineering, and this, uh, like I'm doing internship right now. So <laughs> I'm going to take my foot here. So uh, being a Muslim student in Hong Kong is it's quite uh, like depends on like how uh, willing you are, honestly. But uh, there is a Muslim like a halal uh, restaurant on campus. Yeah, it's a great one. Uh, halal it's very good. There. Whereas there's uh, quite a few vegetarian options uh, in like in different restaurants. Uh, sometimes you might need like to know the language a bit like, <laughs> to get around the menu. But uh, apart from Google that, Google Translate. Yeah, that helps a lot. You send your app. So apart from that, uh, if you want to cook yourself, you can get like halal food, like halal meat and everything, and like you can even get like like yeah, like basically. If you know the place here, or you know, ask someone around at least on campus, and you can find out like about market places where you can buy like uh, like food items, even like spices and everything from your own own country, and you'll be surprised what you can actually even get here. Like from it's, it's exactly the same thing. Mm. So apart from that, uh, I mean, uh, that's the fooding is done and like if you want to pray and everything there's a prayer room on campus and in the dorm so you don't, you don't have any issue pa uh, for that like you can always go to the prayer room and pray mm -hmm. and well apart from that i think the rest is like the same yeah. the so, mosques you have like yeah actually <laughs> so good, good point but, like <laughs> actually uh we have like uh, quite a few mosques so like the nearest one from campus is 